it's open admission that this is not about facts or evidence or defense. In fact, it's not about the work of a, what we most think and often think of as a lawyer, you know, fighting the law, making the case for law. They're basically accepting this is just going to beat the drum, rally the base, say anything you can to trash the prosecution, and don't care where the fact, where the chips fall. They're in, chips don't matter. Facts don't matter. It's a hell of a statement. You bring up the law, you're still right. The context is so revealing. Mayor Giuliani's not negotiating with Mueller face to face. He's not trying to actually hammer out the details of an interview. He's negotiating through the press. He's yeah. trying to make the public case against the investigation. You know, but uh, Natasha, we've been through so much history with, with this president. Remember for months through today, in fact, today, as of this moment, he won't put out his tax returns because he's being, quote, edited. He sent investigators to Hawaii, and he said they're getting a lot of interesting stuff. We know Trump does not tell the truth. We know who makes up stuff. Now he's saying, before I allow myself to be, to be interviewed by the, the Mueller people, before I let that happen, I must have an additional briefing on what they have on me. What kind of a defendant gets to do that? Well, this is kind of where it all comes full circle, where the Republicans in the House, like Devin Nunes, who have been kind of manufacturing scandals no news. for the last year over the unmasking scandal, over no. the FISA warrant, and he now all over the FBI informant, it's all coming full circle, where Trump is now saying, well, if all of this is true, then I want to see proof of this. Well, here it is. I As Rudy had told the Washington, uh, the Washington Post today, quote, we need all the documents before we can decide whether we're going to do it. He's setting the standard. Oh, is is he going to be hit? With, is he going to be hit with a subpoena eventually, is, Robert? Is that just going to be the end of this game? The, the question, the challenge Mueller faces. The question is: Does he actually issue a subpoena to the president of the United States, or does he just pull back and publish the report to send the report to Rosenstein yeah. at DOJ about the president's conduct? Well, why don't you go for a, a, a possible perjury? If Trump keeps talking under oath like he does in public, you'll get him on perjury. And that's exactly why they don't really want him to sit down with Mueller. And that's why they're making these excuses now, saying that, no, he has to have a briefing of these highly confidential documents that are implicated in the investigation into him and to his campaign, which obviously they, the prosecutors wouldn't want him to see, as a prerequisite for him to sit down with the special counsel, which clearly is not something that's, that's going to happen. Robert, no, no, no one knows this better than you, because you are truly objective. And you truly don't have any okay. attitude about Trump. That it's not worthy of you. Do you believe that Trump and Giuliani have ever talked the facts of this case? Do you think that Trump has ever come clean with Giuliani about what he did with his in-laws, what he did with his son, what he did with his people like Rick Gates and Manafort, and what conversations he might have had that led them to colluding with the Russians? Do you think they ever had that conversation? I don't think they've had an extensive conversation about the details of the case. Of his innocence or guilt. M Mayor Giuliani's told me they've had these long conversations at the golf club in Virginia for hours on end. But what they're talking about there is the TV case against Mueller. How to go after Mueller's credibility. But never about the facts. Remember, why was, this Giul is an important question. Why was Giuliani brought in? Because he thought, okay. the president thought the other lawyers were too cooperative. And so Giuliani's okay. the opposite of cooperative. So the actual guilt or innocence of this president has never been a topic of conversation by Giuliani or the president. Well, they're already they don't talk the about that. They're already shifting the goalposts. It used to be when Ty Cobb and John Dowd were Trump's, were Trump's lawyers, it was, okay, well, he has nothing to hide, so why not sit down with Mueller? Now it's... Because he never told him what he did. sit down with Mueller because Giuliani okay. essentially now seems to be acknowledging that the president may be guilty. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.